Okay, so, um, Proto Mario's just released another video, and I don't think he's seen my video, and I did mention on, like, his video that I've made it, and, you know, so if he has seen it, then this just makes it even worse. If he hasn't seen it, then it's just, like, still pretty bad. Um, let me move away a little bit. Yeah, um, so, right, so. He released another video that says, Ah, Pokemon's been paywalling you the entire time. So, he goes on to research that Mew, you know, Mew's going to be the only way to get Mew is through the Pokeball. Plus, not even mentioning that there could possibly be any other way. So, first we have straight up, you know, just ignoring the truth at best. Um, so, we have, at best, ignoring the truth. Um, right off the bat, so... You know this is going to be a long video. Um, then he goes on to say how Meltan will be a paywall, and now I and pe Pokemon's always been paywalling you. Now I'm mainly going to focus on this Meltan thing for right now because I've just watched that bit, and then I'm going to watch his uh, the rest of everything else, and then I'll edit that onto the end of here and anything else about the Meltan that he's mentioned. But essentially. His entire argument is riding on the fact that um, not only do you want Meltan, but you also don't have a uh, a uh, mobile phone that you don't have a mobile phone that can run Pokemon uh, Go, and it, uh, and even then you can't really blame Nintendo or even Ni Niantic for that because it's just like you can't expect a Game Boy to run a Nintendo Switch game. I know it's not as big of a disparity here, but it's basically that. You can't really blame Nintendo or Game Freak or Niantic for all the hardware not being able to run newer games. That is just fucking stupid to expect that. Um, and the internet provider, you need that. Um, heck, even me, who isn't too bothered about mobile phones. I've got a mobile phone right here. If it'll work here, there we go. Uh, not there, because it's not in my usual place. Yeah, here it is. Pokemon Go. Uh, I don't think the camera likes it. Well, if we can just check it, it on here. Yeah, I think you can see the yeah you can see sort of see the Niantic logo, but yeah even me who's not too big on um, mobile up oh, keeping up to date with mobile phones, I've got one. Uh, so I'm pretty sure anybody who's really that bothered about having all of the Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go because yeah I'm pretty sure they'd have it already because you know there's you know th this was uh, you know anybody like completionists he, he's mainly talking about completionists here so anybody who is that much of a com completionist for pokemon games will have already had pokemon go and be completing it as we speak so i don't think they're re unless they're really not too bothered about mobile games and i'm just like well, why would they then be bothered about Getting Meltan, especially because it's one of those Pokemon that next to nobody likes. Um, so you you've got the so you've got people who would who don't have up to date mobile phones, people who want to complete Let's Go, um, people, uh, and then you also have the subsection of people who. Um, who uh, d don't don't pay for the online services? Pay me for let's go. So you have that subsect, and then you have another subset sub subset of people who um, don't have any local friends they could tra trade back and forth with, and then you have uh, the other subset of people who, well, no, I think that's pretty much it. It's, you know, you have to get all of them together, like. To get all of those things together perfectly, pretty much all of them. I think the only thing you don't have to have is like um, the Pokemon Go bit. You know, just to have them culminate all together 
that's going to be like 0 percent of the people who buy Pokemon Let's Go. Such a small subsect that I don't think it's going to... I doubt that you're going to find anybody who matches all of those criteria. Or at least all of the necessary criteria. Um, yeah, so that's why Mew... Well, I've already stated why Mew's not behind the paywall in the last video. And that's why Meltan's not behind the paywall. Because nobody is... Uh, next to, there's probably going to be nobody that's actually meets enough of those criterias. Like there will be somebody with a friend. There will be uh, somebody who plays Let's Go. There will be somebody who has the Nintendo online service so they can get Let's Go off the internet. There will be everybody with at least one of those things playing Let's Go. I can almost guarantee you that. I'll be back when he is um, talked about uh, why uh, Pokemon games have always been paywalling you. And I'm back and uh, I just watched 5 seconds because I knew exactly what I was going with. He's now trying to bastardize the entire, one of the basic premises of Pokemon since Generation 1, which is trading. And so some uh, Pokemon games had it, had exclusive Pokemon, so like um, Arcanine and Ninetales, they were exclusive to a couple of their games. And the idea this was to encourage trading. And he's just like, oh, well, that's paywall. And it's just like, dude, if they, if they didn't do this, then there would be no reason for anybody to trade for anything. And the, the Pokemon community would not have been as strong as it was. Like, literally, the only reason to play Pokemon with your friends at that point would just be battling. Which not everybody cared for. Most people, a lot of people just wanted to complete the Pokédex. And the... the uh, that, uh, you know, that's a lot of fun. Trading with your friends. It's a base aspect of the game. And this doesn't even come from a financial place because uh, um, the creator of Pokemon has even stated the um, reason why he, is, uh, he did that from the start. And it's because when he was a kid, they used to catch and trade insects. So that's why he put uh, that aspect in. To, because then you can catch and trade Pokemon with your friends. And this is one of the base aspects of Pokemon. If you don't like it, don't play Pokemon. Like, seriously. And the, it, I know it was particularly hard in Generation 3 when um, Pokemon was on, the de well, was, was on a major decline. And there was no online yet until Generation 4. But still... It was possible to do without, you know, having to pay for, uh, um, you know, all of the copies of the game. Even though it, games, even though it felt like that sometimes, you'd have to. It was still possible to do it without a paywall. Let let me emphasize this for anybody who uh, says, well, the the you you can pay to go some of these. You you know, some of these methods you do have to pay. It's just like yes. Well, paywall specifically means that you cannot, under any circumstances, without hacking or uh, manipulating the game's data, you cannot get that without paying. But you can get all of these without paying. I think the only one you can really say that you can get without paying, apart from buying the base game and the console, is back in Generation 1 with the Link Cable. Well, again, that was due uh, to um, the technology of the time not being able to, you know, do wireless at all. Again, you can't blame, blame Nintendo and Game Freak for, um, you know, that's not working properly. Um, and the, to say that this is a paywall really loosens the definition of paywall and it just sickens me to think that just for clickbait 
this is pretty much all clickbait that he's doing right now. Because this is stretching out the word paywall to mean lit just about literally anything. Like, seriously. With this definition of uh, paywall, you could probably uh, apply this to literally every game on the earth. Let me see. Uh, he's already on to Pokemon. Let me think. Mario. Mario, um... Maker. Mario Maker. You need the internet. Paywall! That, that's it. Using this logic, I've... Log this logic, I've paid... Mario Maker's pay paywalled. Um... Uh, every pretty much every first person shooter game since the since the internet came to consoles. You need the internet to play multiplayer. Paywall! Um... Like seriously, I could go on for hours and hours with this. And uh, I could uh, look up multiple titles and it's like, okay, paywall, 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 paywall. Using his definition of paywall, meaning that you have to uh, pay a little bit of money, sometimes optionally, just for a small aspect of the game. So, it's just, no. We need to, right, we should not use paywall this loosely. It should be reserved for something that is impossible to get without paying. Not, oh, this tiny, 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 tiny subsector of people who have bought the game might not be able to get it without paying. Not, like, that's not, that, if it is possible to get it without paying, then it's not paywalled. Like, seriously. This is just stupid and disingenuous. It, and it, I just don't get why. Oh, wait, yes, I do get why Proto Mario keeps on forwarding this. Because he's doing it as clickbait. Now, and it, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with clickbait to, you know, on its own in my opinion, it's just like, uh, yeah, you gotta get those clicks, you know, nothing wrong with it, as long as, you know, you, you at least give a, a video of quali quality and not just a video spouting lies and uh, uh, misusing a word uh, uh, to fit your narrative like he is right now. I don't particularly like clickbait, but it's just like, uh, whatever. In my opinion, most of the time, um, and it's just like proto. You make good videos, so stop making this bullshit and make good videos. Because I actually do, I do like a lot of your videos. I I've been around for a while. I've watched a lot of your videos. I like them, but not when you're making bullshit like this. Like seriously, stop. If you're gonna go as far to stretch pay the definition of paywall so it can fit literally every game in existence right now you really need to relook at what you're doing seriously also for anybody who would be getting on me for like the definition of paywall here it is from google itself there we go paywall noun paywall Plural noun paywalls, noun paywall, plural noun paywalls. On a website, an arrangement that, uh, usually on a, on a website, an arrangement that whereby access is restricted to users who have paid to subscribe to the site or service. You, uh, I can remove that now. Hold on. Maybe I'll remove. Yep. So, yeah. This, he is literally stretching the definition of paywall. Um, and you could even uh, say that, uh, um, that uh, um, anything was paywalled with his definition. And uh, yeah, no, this is not a good thing that suggesting that everything was paywalled essentially. Um, the I again I do love his videos but not when he's making bullshit like this. 
Like, he does go off at the end, and just like, I mean, it's a mild perspective, and it's just like, not really. Like, you're saying it's paywalled, a hard definition. This is not a matter of perspective, it's a matter of yes or no, not maybe. Is it paywalled? No, because you can get it. There is a, the possibility of getting it without paying. I think the only thing in his entire video that, uh, that um, you could say was completely and utterly paywalled um, is the fact that back in Generation 3 there was an e-card reader and that unlocked like tiny mini games in the Pokemon games and it's like that's little mini games in a, in the Pokemon game which doesn't even count to completion is the closest thing to an actual paywall he actually ever got in his video and that was actually kind of a paywall but then who most people don't even know of it so nobody really cares about it like seriously dude I want to work, see your videos actually, you know, not be shit. Seriously. Like, put thought into it before you just like, I know we'll get a lot of clicks. Pokemon was paywalling you since, since the start. And it's like, hmm. Ah, this is really making it hard to remain subscribed to you when you keep on uh, uploading shit. Like, seriously, like, I'm not one of those kinds of people that I'll go into a comment section and say, Oh, I don't like your video, I won't subscribe. It's just like, um, uh, you know, after a while, if they stop uploading content I like, so decent content that's not full of bullshit, then I stop unsubscribe. Um, or if I just stop, or if I just get bored of them because they uh, you, use the old, like the same jokes and everything, then I unsubscribe. But, you know, I don't want to unsubscribe from anybody. Like, I only subscri unsubscribe to them when they stop producing content I like. And not because they disagree with me. Like, um, like, my favourite generation of all time is Generation 4 because it had the Hard Gold and Soul Silver remakes in it. But Velocify, um, one of my favourite Poketubers, he um, gives the credit of Hard Gold and Soul Silver to the original Generation 2 games, making them his favourite generation. I don't, I'm just, I'm not like, oh, you give credit to Gen 2 for Hard Gold and Soul Silver even though they came out in Generation 4. Unsubscribe. No. And so, oh well, that's his opinion. Continuing on. Well, he's not making uh, like hard statements like this, that uh, uh, that uh, you at best are uh, is clickbait and disingenuous, and disingenuous. At worst, uh, is purposely uh, mi misleading and throwing mud at uh, Game Freak and Nintendo. Like seriously, th this is supposed to be my week of reviews, or well, nine days of reviews, basically. Um. And uh, I'm, and I'm not interrupting it, but uh, you know this video and those video, the video that I've up uploaded today, probably I'm gonna do as well because I have to upload this because you keep on spewing bullshit out of your mouth. And I have to really just have to drop. This is one of those things that I have to drop everything and kill it with fire. But I didn't kill it with fire enough last time, and you re and you kept on spewing it. So I have to get the flamethrower out again and kill it with fire once more. Or Charizard if you prefer that uh, analogy because we're talking about Pokemon. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow where hopefully I'll get that control I was talking about. Uh, bye bye.